everyone, it's Carmelo here with another action figure review. I found this guy, uh, Michael Morbius, at my local Toys R Us. Um, I am very excited about this figure because there has not been a Morbius uh, in a long time. It was the Spider-Man Classics line back when Toy Biz did the figures, so I, I think we're looking at at least 10 years ago. Don't hold me to that. Um, it had a really cool feature where you could push a button on the back and his jaw would open up and he'd snarl. And he had this like rubbery face, right? And I got nostalgic and weepy-eyed when I saw this figure, and so I pulled out the old Morbius, and I, I pressed the button on the back, but the rubber had dried out and cracked apart, and now it has no face at all, and uh, all I have are little chunks of, uh, of ruined face on the ground, so I, uh, I, I don't know, I may try to salvage it into a custom or something like that, but... This guy consoles me uh, because not only is it Morbius, but he's in his awesome 70s costume with the awesome collar. It's very classic. I love it. Looks uh, very on model. Nice paint job with the, the white. It's not just pure white. It's, it's clearly got some layers and texture to it like skin, which I, I enjoy. Um, you know, the rest of the figure paint wise, it's just cast in black plastic. There's nothing special about it, but this not necessarily bad for this figure. I feel like he's running around in black leather anyway. Um, the, the poseability is great. Mine's nice and solid. Doesn't feel loose or anything. It looks like he's using the standard body sculpt for the rest of it. Um, that's become very popular. The leg muscles and the chest and arms are very identifiable. He does have the new hands though. So he's got the you know, the claws, so that he can suck plasma because this show's on Fox and we can't say the word blood. Oh, no, I said it. There we go. I guess we're not on Fox anymore. The uh, other thing is he comes with these awesome detachable capes. Um, you know, so you've got the classic uh, Count Dracula cape going on here, which I, I think is awesome. Um, you know, or uh, or we've got just the little, you know, night on the town cape, so to speak, which I think is really cool. Um, you know, customizing wise, maybe I'll do something with the black to make it look a little more interesting. Uh, one thing I've wanted to experiment was trying to make them look animated by painting blue highlights. A lot of the, uh, you know, uh, in the cartoons, you know, characters who wore black would have these really bright blue like highlights. And it's actually kind of cool looking and I, I've seen people successfully translate it to 3D. I'd like to see if I could do the same. Uh, but overall, great figure, great character. So I'm really happy. Long time since he's gotten a figure, never in this format. I try to buy the figures that I either don't have, characters I don't have, or in formats I don't have, and especially with uh, with the uh, unfortunate demise of my last Morbius figure, uh, I felt like I had to replace him with this one. So thanks very much for watching, and uh, as I hunt down the rest of these bad boys, I'll keep you posted, okay? Stay tuned for our next custom.